How to improvise with minor pentatonic scales, coming up. Hey everybody, so if you haven't done so already, go to part one, part two, and part three of this tutorial on how to play over an easy tune that is based off of Miles Davis and John Coltrane's So What and Impressions, respectively. This tune is AABA form, meaning that the A sections are repeated three times, and it's a 32 measure form, so each section is eight bars. There's only two chord changes in this tune, E minor and F minor, and that's speaking for trumpet players, transpose key. I've uploaded a play along on YouTube and I've got it at two tempos, one at 120 and one at 200 BPM. Or I also like to use the iReal Pro app. Let's look at these minor pentatonic scales. They are based off of the Dorian minor scales. So if you look at the Dorian minor scale, what we're using is the five notes of the Dorian minor scale, the one, the three, the four, the five, and the seven. So in essence, we have a five note scale and a five note scale. In fact, any five note scale is considered a pentatonic scale. So penta meaning five, pentatonic scale. So you might ask yourself, well, why am I gonna limit myself to five notes when I can use all eight? Well, a friend of mine had a genius description. He said, it's the addition by uh, subtraction. So if you listen to the pentatonic scale, it has a certain sound, a certain quality to it that is like a different color when you're painting. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to play the play along and we're going to play the E minor pentatonic scale in eighth notes. <laughs> okay, so I use the octave on the top. So, one, three, five, seven, eight. The other th cool thing about minor pentatonics is that if you put them in certain patterns, they also have a different sound, a different quality to it. So it changes your story, your musical story, uh, if, if you will. So let's do this. Let's play through the simple pentatonic idea line that I have on worksheet number two that you can download at my website, jefflewistrumpet.com. So let's go ahead and do that now. A little short example of what the minor pentatonics can sound like. All right, let's do this. We're gonna play through all 16 measures of worksheet number two, and there's some of my favorite minor pentatonic patterns. Now remember, in this tune, there's only two chords, E minor and F minor. So you're gonna to wanna to figure out these licks in the minor pentatonic scale in F minor as well. I have it written down on worksheet number two. So let's go ahead, we're gonna play all 16 measures. <laughs> That's it. Come up with your own patterns and start to experiment with this minor pentatonic scale. Don't forget you're going to want to also transpose to F minor so that you can play along. If you're just getting started with minor pentatonic scales, hopefully this helps. And even if you've already been familiar with these minor pentatonics, maybe you've learned something today. At any rate, be sure to go to my website. Subscribe to my channel and receive 11 scales for jazz improvisation just for subscribing. Also, I want to know what is it that you guys are trying to learn? I by no means know everything, but I would like to help you out if there is a question you have in particular about trumpet, about improvisation, about jazz. 
put them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. All right. Thanks for checking it out and I'll check you out in the next video.